Well, breakfast was good. We're back at our, our place now. And now we're gonna probably go to a waterfall. And I'm pumped for that. My hair is kind of crazy because the wind. We're gonna go to the waterfall and I'm super excited to do that. And apparently the water's like amazingly blue. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. All right. Here at this beautiful waterfall. There's a lot of people here, but it's kind of, it's all right. The water is amazingly blue. Like, look at right here. Look how, how crazy blue that water is. It's awesome. But the only downside is, like, when you get here, you got to pay for a table, you got to pay for a locker. Um, you don't have to pay for a table or a locker. It's just things that you might do. We have camera equipment, so we're going to obviously pay for a locker. And also you need to pay for a life jacket or you have to have your own because if you want to go up to the waterfall, you need to pay for a life jacket. It's 50 pesos, so a little less than $1. Not terrible. There's a decent amount of people here, but we're going to get in the water. I'm going to pull up the GoPro and we're going to have some fun. So this is, this is amazing. This is really cool. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, we're leaving now. It was a lot of fun. The water was really blue, very deep too. Uh, it was sweet to dive down to the bottom because you could kind of see things, but you really couldn't at the same time. And that was just amazing. Very beautiful, definitely come. Not as many people as I expected to be here, but still a lot of people. But you could still have your own time and have your own experience here. But yeah, it was definitely worth it. It's, uh, 90 it was 90 pesos for two of us, and then 250 pesos for a big locker. Yeah, no, it was 200 for a big locker, 150 for a small locker, and then, if you want to go up to the waterfall, you need a life jacket, and that's 50, I already said that. But definitely worth it, definitely do that if you come here. This is Kawasan Falls, it's very beautiful. Definitely, if you get a chance to come, come. Oh, one thing you can also do while you're here is canyoneering, which is basically where a guide will take you up to the top of the, kind of top of the mountain where the, the river starts. And you have a life jacket and a helmet, and you basically jump off waterfalls and you keep going to the pools and keep going and going and going. Apparently it's a lot of fun. What we were told it's like almost 2,000 pesos a person, and that should include everything, but we're not doing it this time around. Next time we probably will. That also sounds like fun. That is also something you can do here. And you can go anywhere and find some find a guide. There yeah. were like a billion shops on the way up here that were like, oh, continuing, continuing. So, yeah. If you're gonna be staying in the area, talk to your homestay, your hostel, whatever, wherever you're staying, and they'll probably hook you. They'll probably get you a reputable place. They'll hook you up. They'll hook you up. But yeah, look at this bamboo. It's super tall. Yeah. We got a fried banana thingy. 
I don't remember the, the proper name for it, but it's really good. This is one of my favorite kinds. The other one I like better. It's a little drier than this and they fan out the banana and they roll it in sugar. But this one's really good as well. Mm -hmm. How is it? Hot. Hot. Really hot. 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 Really, really, really hot. Steamy. Give your thoughts in a second. So we're at the bike. Rachel's finishing her banana. It's so good. She said it locks in the heat. But very really hot. Does. Fresh. Fresh off the fryer. We're either gonna get some food or head back, take a shower, and then get food. Uh-uh. We're gonna get food. So food first. Um, the sun is burning my flesh. And yeah. Hot. Ah, that is super hot. Alright, one second. Alright, I'm gonna put this away so we can go eat and I can eat my banana. Alright, see you guys there. Bye.